What's up, YouTube? Duffield Damien coming at you live from an undisclosed location somewhere in Michigan. Or even I'm lost right now. Welcome today. Today I'm going to be running through, uh, I'm going to be playing some blades. Uh, still in early access mode. I'm just curious how long they're going to keep it in early access mode and before everybody else can play it. Or is that just the title of the game now? Blades Early Access. <laughs> but anyway, in my prior video, I did a little walkthrough real quick, and I was telling you that, uh, you know, when you first start building your city, don't make a mistake like I did. And uh, what you want to do is you want to build all your shops right down here at the entrance screen, because as you saw when I logged in, I started right here. And for those that watched the last video, I have to walk all the way up to the top where the where the job board is just to get you know my blacksmith shop so I need to repair my weapons and stuff I have to walk all the way up here you know but uh, so yeah you don't want to do that you know I could build a second one down at the beginning but yeah I don't even know whether I want to do that or not but anyway uh, you know if you're wandering around then you know you come to your job board up here you know and uh, check out what's going on but you don't necessarily have to see you don't have to go to your job board anymore they have another option which I'll show you in a second but I like the the update that they gave just recently in the last couple of weeks they now show you um, the rewards for the quests you can see like you down you see one treasure chest uh, there's a weapon there's some stone gold sorry and then you know some gems up at the top ones and then um, you got your, your your story quests are here jobs that's uh, a job board and then challenges you have here as well now let's say you don't want to climb all the way up here well I mean not climb but walk all the way up here to your job board um, you could just easily go up to the upper left hand corner you have the uh, I, uh, the explanation button you click on that it comes to the quest or you can go to the drop down screen to the far left and you can see here you got your character quest chest store abyss exit the menu and then you just hit your uh, the quest button and boom here you are again so we're gonna do we're gonna do this one today live and uh, Let's see how it goes. Um, there was one, and see up in, in the description here, it says secrets found. All right, hold on here. Let me, let me pause it. Uh, quest details. Secret found. Inside these dungeons, and, and, and when you go on quests, sometimes you will be able to find a secret, which will hold gold or a treasure chest of some sort. Um, Sometimes it's pretty obvious where they are, and sometimes you kind of got to look around for the stuff. Scout around. I always like looking around. Just like in, you know, Fallout, Skyrim, doesn't matter. I always, you know, I always like exploring. I don't, I don't rush through dungeons or caves or anything else of that nature. Because um, it's not always smart to go just balls out running through stuff. Unless you're like on a kamikaze mission, like, you know, you're goofing around on like Fallout, you know, you go in and go crazy. Now the shield, you put your shield up, you can block, that's your block. Uh, you gotta hold down on the, here you got different spells you could use, you could use poison. I like poison, poison kills really quick. I love poison, poison and fire. But for some odd reason, my fire got replaced with something else. I don't even know, like I think it got replaced with that. But on the right side, you got your green, you got your, you know, you got your quick strike, got your parry strike, parry slash, 
you know, jump back slash blah, blah, blah. You could go into your uh, settings and look to see, um, you know, I, what which each skill is. And I'll, I'll go in there in a second after I get done with this. I, I like this. It, you got your little, you know, your, you know, your, your little guide. And then you have, you know, it shows you where your item is that you need to pick up. And then if you get lost, it shows you, you know, where to go. But sometimes you don't always want to go where it tells you to go. Like me, like I said, see, like it's telling me to go that way left. But I see a tunnel here. I want to go right. Eat me some food. What's in here? Looking for that secret passage. Sometimes it will be a chain, and the chain will like be. A, it'll change colors. Sometimes it's a candlestick. Sometimes it's a, you know, a, a switch on the wall. A statue's arm. It's fairies. When you're fighting, if you hold down your uh, your right side for your weapon and get it to come into the circle, fill the circle, that's where you could get you know your biggest hit. But those are the you that are experienced playing, you know, Fallout, World of Warcraft, and. Skyrim and Oblivion, you guys, and gals probably know all that already. So let's see here. What did I saw? Something blinking. Oh, look at there. You see that? Ooh, I wonder what that is. All right, let's let's, let's look. Let's walk up here. Nothing here. Let's go see what that. Ah, uh, see this one is. See how it's changing colors? That's it. Yeah, you find the secret room. And voila. It's a chest. So, okay. So, let's carry on now. Oh, now it's sending me over there. I thought it wanted me to come over here. Well, what's over here? down from I'm not even gonna lie sometimes I get lost in these you know I don't want to miss anything but I don't want to always listen to where it tells me to go either because if I do that then you know I would have missed the uh and that's the the middle ones like block uh, shield block shield back honestly it's just easier to you know go crazy and kill them so man see I was telling me to, yeah see I don't know what I want to so freaking dark in these dungeons too Okay, so there's two paths. We'll go this way first. Nothing or nothing. Okay. Are you kidding me?
food. So it's kind of cool that, you know, you have an automatic guide. You don't have to mess around with. You know, Alright, I'm done. I'm not even messing around with this. Thing. Get it. Oh. Really? I'm clicking on it, dude. Seriously? Now, anytime you complete the quest objective. Really? There it goes. Normally, it gives you this pop up. You can complete it and exit right away, or you can have, take the option of explore just on the off chance that you miss something, like the secret room, like you collected all the quest objectives before you found the secret room. And then. Um, Then you can just exit out from wherever you are, which is cool, because you know, like if you were in Skyrim or uh, you know Fallout, when you're in them caves, there isn't no fast travel out. There isn't no exit. You, if you're down in the very depths of the cave or dungeon, you gotta walk out. You gotta find your way out. You, there's no getting out. No teleporting. So at least in this game, they give you the option of just automatically just bolting out and being done. So let's see here. The wooden chest, I open up right away because they only take like, you know, what did it say, five seconds or something? And then um, you just get them and then you can see what you get. Um, up at the, if you see here in the upper right hand corner section, you have your uh, chest symbol where three of 10 and your backpack is 20 of 40 and then you got your, uh, currency over here um, you can of course you know they always offer oh would you like to buy more space no that's all right I'm good but for those of you that you want to buy space you have that option oh, yeah that was a dumb place to put it again I apologize I, I still haven't figured out I'm using the I'm using the recording device that's on my Samsung S9, and I don't know how to remove that. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sorry. You know, I apologize. Again, you know, I'll keep apologizing until I figure it out. So then you go into your higher chest, like this one is a silver chest. If you see uh, it says unlock, it has one hour on it. Usually what I'll do is I'll open up all my, you know, low level chest and then the big ones I go ahead and do and unlock and then why that's running uh, if if I'm not doing if I, if I got other things to do like go play Marvel Contest of Champions because you know I'm like a sick addicted crack addict on MCOC um, I just bust out of here and uh, I go do my thing or if you want to you know like if you want to, like, you know, uh, enchant something or uh, create a craft something, usually it takes a while. And then if you do build anything, it usually takes anywhere between, you know, half hour and a day. So usually I just leave the game and go on my merry way. So, um, oh, I completed a challenge, so you can collect your challenge. They have different challenges every day. Um, you could cancel out them if you don't want to do it, but it still has the timer on it. So it's not like you get an instant <clears throat> different challenge. But uh, yeah, I just you know figured I'd do a quick little you know quest dungeon run. I'm gonna head over and do some uh, Marvel Insider. No, not Marvel Inside. Marvel Top, Marvel Collect by Tops. It's a card game. It's pretty cool. Um, it's connected to Marvel Insider as well as Marvel Contest of Champions. But you know, I'm hitting the 15-minute mark. Thank you very much. Have a good day.